Hello, in this short video, we're going to take a quick look at this book. It is called Topology, and it was written by a man named Murray Eisenberg. This is an older book. This one is what's called an ex-library book because it used to belong to a library. Eisenberg, I'm going to give it a whiff here because it's calling me. Ah, oh, smells really good. So topology is a really great subject. Um, in order to learn topology, you first have to know how to write proofs. And I would say you have to have a substantial amount of proof writing experience before you jump in. So let's just open it up quickly and take a look, see what we have. Topology. Murray Eisenberg, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Cool. Look here. Oh, here's the copyright. Looks like this is the first edition, 1974. Pretty sure this book is fairly rare. I will try to leave a link in the description. Here's the preface. Let's take a look at the preface and see what it says. This book introduces the most basic concepts, facts, and techniques of general topology at a level appropriate to a student's first exposure to the subject. It is suitable as a text for a variety of undergraduate courses of differing lengths and emphasis and for classes having varying backgrounds, some possible course outlines are suggested below. It may even be used for beginning graduate students who have not previously studied topology as an introduction to one of the standard advanced texts. Cool, very, very cool. And then here's a look at the contents. So you can see what it contains. Sets and maps. We have sets, maps, families, and products, countability, order completeness of the real numbers, equivalence relations, so really good stuff there. Metric spaces, this is always really fun. It's on page 47, so we have metrics, open sets and closed sets, equivalent metrics, continuity and convergence, and completeness. Two is on topological spaces, so we have topologies, neighborhoods, boundary, interior, enclosure, and basis and local bases. And over here we have continuity and convergence, so continuous maps, homeomorphisms, product spaces, quotient spaces, convergence. Then we have compactness, so compact spaces, compact metric spaces, locally compact spaces, and connectedness. And it's a very standard text. I would say it's uh, worth owning if you can get a copy or if you're interested in learning topology. I always think uh, it's good to have as many math books as possible. So it starts off in a very readable fashion with sets. So this is something that you probably already know. And if you don't, most uh, advanced math books start with set theory. So that's something that you'll see uh, in, in most books. And you can see here, it's got some really clean proofs. I just got to give it a whiff. Ah, I just want to sit down and work through some problems here, actually. Maps. We've got some exercises here. That's kind of fun. Cool. And then we've got some maps. Here it defines a mapping. Let's look at this. A map or function f from x into y, f from or on x to or into y, consists of sets x and y together with the rule f, which assigns to each little x and big x a unique element, which we denote by f of x and y, called the value of f at x. Let me zoom out a bit so we can see here better. The set capital X is the domain, and the set Y is the codomain, and the rule F is the graph of the map. Yeah, cool. And so that's not even the topology yet, right? This is just like prereq material until we get to the topology. Here we go. Now we're dealing with topological spaces here, continuity and convergence in spaces. And the proofs in topology um, are fun. Once you get the hang of them, you have to be really good at uh, manipulating sets and set theory type stuff. So um, you get a lot of practice uh, with that in proof writing courses or in other courses or in topology, right? Because you, you go through, uh, for example, here, this is exactly what I'm talking about, actually. It's a, kind of a coincidence that we landed on this page, but like stuff like this, uh, De Morgan's Laws, Okay, and then like unions and intersections of families of sets, that's something that comes up a lot in the exercises, uh, like in the, in the actual proof writing, you'll, you'll do a lot of that. And you'll want to know, you'll want to know the inclusions for functions and stuff, like, you know, you know f of a is contained in, you know, et cetera. Um, you'll want to know all the set theoretic inclusions for functions. Now here's a 
common problem. Given a metric D on a set X, show that this formula defines a metric on X that is bounded and equivalent to D. Yeah. It's a common problem that you see. Yeah, but it's good stuff. I'll try to leave a link in the description um, so you can check it out if you want. But here's, here's the definition of a topology. Let's take a quick look at this. Let X be a set. A topology on X is a collection of subsets of X such that, and then we have the empty set uh, is in this set here. I'll, I'll call it tau. Uh, and then X is in tau. Any union of sets belonging to tau also belongs to tau. Any intersection of finally many sets belonging to tau also belongs to tau. So um, the elements of tau are called open sets, by the way. So basically another way to say it is um, the union of any number of open sets is open, the empty set and the whole space are always open, and any finite intersection of open sets is open. If you have those conditions, then you have a topology. So kind of cool. Some metric topologies here. It's a hard word to say, metrizability. metrizability. I can never say it is thus a metrizability or metrizability. I can never say it right. I'm not sure how to say it. Is thus a hereditary property of topological spaces in the sense that every subspace of a metrizable topological space is metrizable. I think it's metrizable. Metrizable. Not sure. I'm not sure how to say that one. So, yeah. Anyways, take care. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my courses. Links are in the description. Until next time, keep doing math.